But let's think about it, right, guys? So, I've played this game quite a long time now, and I've watched other people play it, too. So I think I've got a decent idea about what the game is. Let's do the Ogress one. Let's uh, see if we can kill her. Apparently there's a cemetery in our domain that rings with an eerie sound of a woman crying every night. It has the locals terrified and they asked me to do something about it. I don't suppose I could impose on you to investigate. I think we can all agree that they made the game easier than what it was when we played the betas. The alphas. All games make their alphas and their betas kind of inflated, let alone games that are trying to be a Souls game, which Souls famously did the same thing. They put you in New Game Plus just to super fuck you up, because that's the reputation those games have. Coming into this game, having played it now, there's a lot of people who seem to think that the game is easy, and that it's you know nowhere near as hard as the beta, and as much as that's true, the game isn't easy, guys. And like any game that you feel is too easy, there are ways to change your playstyle to to make it more challenging. Like, look at me. I am still getting one to two shot because I've committed to armor that's just not really good enough at defending me. And even if it is, I'm still taking big damage. Dying in one to two hits instead of, you know, three to four, five to six, is going to make the game objectively more difficult. You can also try to dodge rather than block. You can try to mix up different weapons and do creative things rather than doing the same thing. There are ways to make the game more interesting and more challenging that are outside of the game itself. So all these people that, you know, are complaining, it seems kind of bizarre to me because if you're using heavy armor and you're spear poking things 10 to 15 levels higher than you should be at that point, you can't blame the game. That's you. You did that. Interesting. So who's this? Like Phil's beating bosses on one attempt, crushing areas without dying, but then he's not fighting any revenants. Like why not fight some revenants if the game is so easy? Fight something outside your comfort zone. Because the Revenants, they're not going to be, they're not going to give a shit about how you play, as you're witnessing here. He saved me then. He's probably really mad about that. Because if he'd uh, not hit me twice, he would have been able to, to crush me with the riposte. But look at that, that guy kicked me in. Beat me up. Did exactly what Revenants do. So I'm going to do something now that I didn't want to do in this playthrough, but alas, we've come to that part of our story. I'm going to level up the HP statistic. I think it's called body. Because I want to get the benefit of my armor if I can, and I believe one point in that will do that. So look at me breaking my own traditions. But now, feasibly... Yay! I finally get the the rewards my armor are meant to give me. And have you noticed that each of the armor gives you a toughness value? Depending on the toughness value depends on how hard it is to break your guard. So you can remember when I was mentioning that I was kind of pissed off that everything was crushing my stamina and I wasn't crushing theirs even though I got tons of key and they don't? It's more to it than just that. And I didn't realize. Dude, I'm in love with that knee. It makes me think of God Hand, and anything that makes me think of God Hand is doing it right. So I'm expecting shitters to be here, and they weren't. Who's been dying? Whoa! Oh, I can see their clan now! Interesting! So this guy's quite far. I should probably fight him. Because he's uh, he's in a clan. Whoa, that's weird. Fucking dick! Why do they do it in right in front of you? I don't get it. 
That was really good. Good spacing. Crush. Gotta be careful with that stamina, buddy. It's uh, precious. And I got some points for my clan. Yay! 54 glory for him. I wonder if I got more glory because he was um, in a clan. I wonder if that's how that works. This guy's in a clan too. Get him. Get him, Tokugawa. You're going down, son. My clan, bitch. What are you doing? Stop doing that. I was gonna say, where was the guard push? Because I really fucking need it. Do it. That knee is so good, I love it. Doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's great for pressure. It's a little bit like Kami in Street Fighter V where she does the double knee. All they're looking for is block stun for you to press a button so they can frame trap you with the jab. And then hit confirm into something better. That's kind of what I'm trying to do with it. Just keep putting forward momentum on them, put pressure on, get them paranoid. And win. I wonder, interesting to see if they changed the Ogress because the Ogress had a glaring flaw in the front of her design. Stand in front of her and nothing could hit you. It's really weird. Something saw me. He saw me. Okay. I'm okay with that. Right. He's 48, but he doesn't have a... He's 51, but he doesn't have a... 42, but no... 51, but no thing... Oh, this thing! So, this was in the last chance beta, and he does that, and he does that. He's a real interesting one. Kind of a new enemy, technically, but also kind of funny. I like that enemy a lot. It's just really silly and unique. It looks like an umbrella. A random umbrella that's kicking your ass. I can get behind that. Okay, well, I've inherited that from the Souls games. Good to see. Oh shit. Everyone's favourite buddy. He didn't do the slash. He normally follows that with a slash. That's the combo. That's a two hitter. I need to be careful. Come on, keep trying to get them iframes, you gimp. comes. One. Wow, I did not mean to roll then. That's the only problem with this movement bullshit that I'm putting up with at the moment. It's giving me things I don't need. Now, I've only got an ender on one of these stances, which is unfortunate. I need to buy more skills for the Kusarigama. I remember in that tip video though, didn't that tip video say that when you do familiarity, you get a skill point? I haven't been getting scroll points, I don't think, for doing familiarity, so either the guy was wrong or I'm doing it wrong. And I don't really know which one it is. But it's definitely something. Oh, look, you can see the umbrella geezer. Just chilling out. Got his attention. Speaking of attention. Everywhere. Uh-huh. It's literally coming to me. Awesome. I like this enemy a lot. Spin, spin, spin. Jump. Spin, spin, spin. Okay. Jump. Spin, spin, spin. Alright. What are you doing? Wow. Being a little coward, but it works. He nearly paralyzed me or something. Okay.
Okay. It's down here. Stuff. It's down there. This level seems nice. It's like a a cemetery grove of some sort. Look at that, dude. Frame advantage up the arse on this stupid enemy. Just bite you. They remind me of the sad ghosts from Devil May Cry. I think that's what they were called. Sacred water. There's a yokai. Or rather, Yoki. Yoki from Yokai. That's hilarious. So someone in a stream the other day was saying that they think the combat in this is better than Dark Souls, and it, it's interesting. Well, even Phil himself said, you know, that the combat, the, 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 the controls, sorry, in this game are better than Dark Souls, and he, and he said that because the frame rate is high, and uh, he isn't blaming the controller, which I kind of get the feeling that, you know, once he starts finding the hard stuff in the game, because let's face it, this game is very long. We're only really in the beginning of it. There's 35 bosses or some bullshit, and I've killed, what, six? So we aren't that far. We might think we're far, and we might think we're learning, and we think we're good, but we're not yet. There's plenty left to come to kick us in. So when that eventually does turn up, whatever it is for Phil, it might be the blob monster that bummed me yesterday. It might be the centipede that I couldn't get my head around yesterday. It might be Takibana in the, uh, on the prairie where he's level 27 and he's a little bit more of a fight than when you're in the temple with him, where he's kind of... just kind of simple, isn't he, really? God, I love that knee. Should have bought it so much sooner. But when, it, when that eventually does happen, I wonder if he's going to go back on that statement. Because you know, Phil, he needs an excuse at all times that's not him. But when it comes to the combat, I think comparing this to Souls combat is, is a difficult... Thing to do because it is so very different. It's obviously inspired and it's obviously took a lot of influences from it, but they're not the same systems, they're not the same games. There's a lot of aspects of this that I much prefer, but on a fundamental level, there are aspects of the Souls games in the simplicity which I think makes them work so much better for what they are. So it, it all depends on, I suppose, what kind of game you want and what kind of game you're looking for. Comes. Trying to get that cheeky lick off. Like, I love the stance changing in this, and I love the key stuff, the fluxing, the pulses, all of that. But there's something to be said about just the fundamental simplicity of souls. You dodge, you hit, you dodge, you hit. Your moveset's very limited, but it's refined, and it's always there for you, it's always viable. As it should be. There's no fluff. Wow, he's not even looking at me and he's stunlocking me. What a fucking trash enemy, dude. That guy's called Ulkiara. Isn't that that pale geezer from Bleach? What is he using? Purple gear, and he has stuff. I need to quickly heal. Unlucky dude. The middle ground spacing on the Kusaragama is so superior to almost every other weapon, it's ridiculous. Because look at this. I'm in mid stance, right? Let's turn side on so you can have an idea of the range. Look at that. It goes almost off my screen. So he dodges backwards, I press square, and I still hit him because of the range of it. It's got. It's, it, it's really, really good. And I've badmouthed this weapon, and I'm really going back on it, because I think it's very strong. Not many people have have beaten the spider level who've come here, because they're not in clans. Which is bizarre. 
I suppose maybe they were scared and they wanted to level up. Because you'll notice a lot of people... That's the thing I noticed with good old Phil. He's leveling at every single opportunity. He's never running around with Amrita. He's always leveling. And that's why he is so high. He's like level 36. And he hasn't even gone to the mines yet with the centipede. He hasn't even done what I did the beginning of yesterday, which is taking on Tachibana. Ooh. I've never... This is new. I've never fought this creature. And I'm stuck, which is not good. Old El Presidor coming back to haunt me. So let's get rid of the stupid ads. And then let's... Let's take her on, shall we? Come on, then. You think she can summon more dudes? Whoa, she got range. She got projectiles. Whoa, nice dash. Does good damage. I don't, can't get my stamina back. This is bad. Whoa, that nearly hit me through the wall. That wasn't cool, lady. That was a grab. Oh, she's got crazy range. Love the chase down, dude. Catch the back dash. That is a really cool enemy. I like that enemy a lot. She's aggressive. She's got range. She's got interesting moves. She's new. Like, it says a lot to fight a new enemy. You know? I never anticipated we'd be playing for this long and only have just seen a new enemy from the stuff we fought in the beta. And that's a criticism of the game. The enemies are so self-contained and so interesting and, and used so well that we haven't needed to see new ones, although I really want to. Like, I'd like new enemies each level. But that's just me. So the ogress was not what I thought it was. A yokai, I should have known. I hear that a lot of people are transformed into ghosts in yokai after death. It's the power of their worldly attachments and resentments. Perhaps the one you saw, too, was lamenting whatever it was bound her to our world. I got lacquer and shit for that. That's awesome. So, we can do Disappearing Ranjatai. Ranjantai. We can do Battle on Ohashi Bridge, which I don't understand at all. And then there's Falling Snow, which is the next mission, so. Let's. Go to the shrine. Spender's level on a little bit more damage. What level are we now? We're now 45. So we're very high level. Hmm. Have I got any other jutsus I could use? Smoke bomb I should really experiment with. I really like Carnage even though it takes far too long to cast. And I don't think it gives you enough damage. I think some of those stuff are a bit weak for my tastes. I like tear stone range, me. I'm the kind of guy who's all or nothing. Look at that. 5%, 5%, 1%. Because I don't have many of those. That's unfortunate. That's the only one I want, though. Let's show you the other spirits. So, is that new? Daiba Washi? Daiba Washi, yeah. Wind Elemental. The name means Horse Killer Hawk. So called for a mysterious phenomenon in which the wind whips up the horses die suddenly. Observers have described it as a whirlwind of glowing needles surrounding the hapless animal. Slashing the air in front of the horse with a sword will deflect it. On the other hand, some actually venerate the Daiba Washi, believing that the same characteristics can, be, can shield them from danger. My bad. I'm mumbling. So, this guy is an evasive one, it seems. What is that? Like a bunny rabbit? 
Hinizumi. Hinizumi? Lend strength to those possessing the will to face difficult problems head on. In the famed tale of the bamboo cutter, one of the objects Princess Kaguya asks her would be suitors to acquire is a Hinizumi fur coat. One suitor tried to take the easy route of purchasing such a coat and failed the task. Perhaps he would have succeeded if he had faced the challenge with enough determination that a real Hinizumi had come to his aid. So what does it do then? It does that. Then we got the bat. Pronounced Eun Komi E. Eun Komori. Komori. Eun Komori. I can't do this. <laughs> this guardian spirit has two sides to its nature. The Aya, or the Eu, part means both string and the metaphorical strings that connect people to society and each other. And Eu Mori. Outer self is vivacious and outgoing, but it prefers to reveal its inner self to those trapped by their bonds. Don't really get it. And then there's a spider, pronounced Itokuri. The spider spirit is not content to merely protect people. It also likes to alter their fates, taking them down a winding path on the way to their destination. As an example, many loathe Matsunage Hisahide for his villainy, while others remember him as one of the most cultivated gentlemen of his generation. Either way, his influence was huge and far-reaching, though it remains unclear to what extent an Itokuri was involved. The Itokuri have particular fondness for treasure and historical items that have affected the fates of many. Some people even venerate the Itokuri merely for the chance to associate with such artifacts. So it puts your luck up, that one. And then everything else doesn't make much sense to me. Except for, of course, from drop rates and stuff. But you'll notice... I need high spirit for all those other things. Because that one adds paralysis, but you need 16 spirit for paralysis. Which is kind of nuts. Unlimited on Mio. Treasure sense. That gives you all the good stuff. More luck. Crazy. Something to experiment with, but not today. Right, let's go back to the smith. Apologize, you might get bored of me doing these kind of things, guys, but I like to be thorough. Got tons of shit there. Can I... Uh... That's quite expensive. Oh, I can buy quality lacquer now? How many of them? I can buy a lot! Nice. Good girl. I don't want to buy too many, though. Let's get ten. There you go. I don't think I can sell for a bajillion dollars. No. What was that? Oh. Vengeful Spirit Visor. Ooh. Hey, you'd think things would sell for more, but they really don't. Because they appreciate how much you get. You know, this is a game where you can get thousands of fucking pieces of gear, so it makes sense. Here we go. There's some sundries done. Next place. What were we going to do? The disappearing Ranjitai. This one. This guy again. Ranjitai is the most magnificently fragrant incense wood under heaven. And yet it seems that a fragment of it was found in a cemetery for no obvious reason. The blood that even Nobunaga cut himself. What? The wood that even Nobunaga cut himself a piece of? Oh, my bad. How I long to smell its perfume even once. The same goes for you, I'm sure. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop standing around and go get it. I will. I'm gonna go get it. As war churns on and faith falters, even more temples fall into decay. But the spiritual power inherent to holy grounds can serve as a beacon to yokai. 
and other evil spirits, transforming many abandoned temples into dens of malice. Well, we know where we are at least. Nice free whetstone. I want to put more salt on. I feel like it could be a good idea. Ooh, this guy is a salary man. We need him. He was killed by a yokai. He's also really weak when it comes to key. So, this could be a freebie. My spacing went to fuck just then. Did you see that? Why? I don't know why. That's better. For some reason it put me in a weird position and it, and it made me not hit his back. And if I'm not hitting his back, I'm not getting the benefits of the stun lock. Here we go. Oh, that guy's of my, uh, my ilk. I can't kill fellow Faru too, guys, can I? That's not good. Here we go, Toyo Tama. Let's fight them. Okay. Whoa! That was amazing! He just used the goddamn fire mask thing of doom. This guy's got good spacing. And he's got a bow. High stance. Yeah, I can't crush this guy's guard. He's got too much key. Now I can. Nice dodges, dude. There we go. Right. Well, it's like I can't summon immediately because that shit's on the screen. Stupid. He's a bat, dude. Let's, uh, let's try Matsunaga. Silly. Very silly, dude. Never gonna end well, that one. Interesting. Wow, that guy's got balls of steel. They didn't even blink. I'm throwing out pokes. I'm playing footsies and he's just like, nah. It's the problem, isn't it, with the CPU? The CPU knows. Here we go, Corroda. Gotta put my time in to help my clan. Gotta beat these scrubs. Oh, this guy's got real bad block. But it doesn't matter because he's got mad damage. The okay. Bye. Right. Sixty seven. What is this fucking dude doing? He's finding all the nice dodge. Put poison on his weapon. I hate low stance because the computer's really good at frame advantaging a move you just did. High stance is beautiful because it's kind of standard too. Oh, he threw a knife at me! How did he do that? Not the throwing the knife thing, but how the hell did he do it so fast? So I think that's definitely, you know, helping the team, right? Whoa, 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 whoa. GG, buddy. What 
was he doing? You drunk man. He had one job. And you fucked up. That guy's 54. He's the spider and he's Toyotomi. Now I'm going to try and do it. <laughs> Did you see it? That was hilarious. Pretty funny. He didn't do very well, but the idea is solid. I did the guard break into his guard, and then I chucked salt at him, and it didn't really do it as fast as I would like, or have the effect that I would like. Here he comes. Wow, just armored through it. Like, who gives a fuck, right? That's really annoying. Anyway, he's dead. Not that it mattered much. So who is this then? That guy. There you go. Battered him. Is this a mimic? A small spirit stone. Oh, okay. I can do that in every stance. Oh, I love it. Wow. The depth perception on this man. Whoa, that ninja has a Kusarigama. Cool. Kusarigama wars. And he's winning. Because he's getting backed up by the fucking dickhead with the big... Big dick. Big dick dickhead. GG, buddy. Do you mind, sir? I'm, I'm happy to see the ninja with a different weapon, though. That's cool. That guy got killed by a rogue. That guy got killed by an, a rogue as well. I nearly got killed by a rogue. Is he a rogue? God, I love the chase down, dude. It's too good. It was, it's a move that was designed for me. And the way I like to play is so cool. Wow, that guy's level 72. What does the two swords mean? Does that mean how much glory he has? Or his reputation? Something? Doesn't, doesn't do a lot of damage. Does a lot of... Low style, a lot of special moves. What are they doing? Just keeps frame advantaging me with a fucking low style because it sucks. Eat a dick. You're doing no damage either, so all it is is an annoying ankle biting shitter just attacking you. Uh, there we go, heavy stance. And heavy stance with armor, much better, but you fucked up because you did it too much. Level 72. Am I 50 yet? I'm 40 45. How are these people getting so high level? Oh, damn! Can't quite see him with this camera. Is it that one? I don't actually know the pictures and what they correlate to because I don't know the gestures very well. But I, I keep getting lucky. So that's cool. That was the mission? 
Oh, that means I can't interact with much. I didn't even come down here. Is there anything over here? Ooh, look at him. Why are they bowing? Is that because I've done the level? Did they concede? There's like no collision on him. Interesting. Interesting. They must prostrate themselves because the mission's over. That's weird. I suppose it's one way of learning the enemy spawns because you can just run around with Im complete immunity. So, oh yeah, there's a guy. There's a guy over there. Yeah, two guys there. Yeah, hello. Like, it's cool. Water amulet. Controller barely working. I was just clicking it at help like that, but it doesn't. Probably makes it worse. I might douse it in baking soda. That'll fix it, right, guys? Baking soda fixes everything. It's probably all dead skin. All dead skin and grease just all mangled together underneath the components that have somehow seeped into the controller from my disgusting hands. Like, remember Pokemon cards when they used to get those, like, black spots on them from dirty bastards touching them too much with the greasy fingers? I used to use a 2P and lightly scrape that shit off. And I mean really lightly, because you didn't want to damage your cards because they cost a lot of money. True story. I wonder if any of this loot's even worth it. I should have probably just left. And the big fella's bow. It's crazy. It's interesting you can't cheap shot them. It's not like Team Fortress 2, where when you win, they want, really want to rub it in. Yeah, that was a waste of time, I think. Anyway. Let's get our reward, shall we? Once I've finished uh, stylishly stepping. I love how he turns around. It must be something tripping backwards because to stop moving forward, you. Like. I don't even know how you would do it. What would make him stop like that? Weird. 